Dominic. Welcome back. Thanks. Uh, why all the men? What's, uh, what's going on? The government has me under investigation. They want to put me in prison. Wait for me in the parlor. The Senate is building a case. They have subpoenas for my businesses in Vegas, here, Florida. Dominic, they have someone who will testify against me. Who? Frank Pentangeli. Frank's dead. I, I saw him die. What you saw was Rosado setting me up. The detectives found him half dead, scared stiff, calling out loud that I turned on him. Me? It's been a while, son. I was Florida. It was good, Tom. Dominic, Tom Hagen has been my consigliere, and now my attorney. He's also family. If the Senate is coming for me, they'll be coming for him too. I need to isolate him from my operations. He's going to join your family and be your consigliere. Tom will be removed from my payroll. Al Neri will handle the transition. Tom, pay a visit to the Senator. Dominic, you're making a name for yourself. Make sure people respect it. Goodbye. Consigliere, just like old times. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Godfather 2. We got a, how you say that? Consigliere. You said, did I say that shit correctly? But we do have a situation here. Um, do, is he gonna take over one of my spots? I hope not. He's not even about that. I don't know, let's talk to him. What are you gonna give me? It's good to have you in the family, Tom. I just wish it was under better circumstances. Me too. There's been a lot Mike hasn't been able to tell me. But it's safer this way for both of us. You're my consigliere, Tom. I won't keep any secrets from you. Now, who was Michael talking about earlier? What senator? His name is Pat Geary from Nevada. He's a chairman on the Senate committee that's investigating Michael. We're gonna get him on our side, Dominic. Before this trial sees the light of day. It won't be easy. He's a United States senator. We can't just pay him off like some backwater judge. We won't have to. Sex is Geary's weakness. He's depraved. We're gonna use this against him. There's a brothel nearby. Some of the girls there are managed by a woman named Rosa Scarlatti. She runs a national prostitution ring. Not really our stock and trade, but she's been loyal to the Corleones for years. Oh shit, so we gonna kill him while he gets some ass? I'm prepared for that. Let me go ahead and shoot up some ammo. Yeah, we're going to... Senator? You're gonna need it. Business, Dominic. Is that all he gonna do? Okay, so he's not really gonna take a spot on my family tree, but he is gonna help us. So once again, if you look at our map here, we got everything. The whole shebang locked down. We got the it's whole like got city. Can I get out this way? We can. We're gonna shoot over to the start this. asking around. To the spot. And the whole family, I, I didn't realize it would be every person involved. Shit, this whole with thing the Corleone public. Well, um, movement sure would have bulletproof happen. vests and then like the huge bullet clip, bullet belt, whatever you call it, the big ass. You see that belt that we all got on? I respect. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out. Extended clips from our little bonus. I didn't know everybody would get that. Anyway. Okay, bitch. It. Oh, wait a minute. I just simply move out the way. I just looked over. I seen that ass though. Okay. And I see titties. Brief nudity. All right, let's go. Up. Let's go up the steps. Rosa, hello. My name is Dominic. I know who you are. Tom told me you were coming. Did he tell you why I'm here? He did, and I can help. But you guys are asking me to sacrifice a lot, a life. I won't play along just out of loyalty, Dominic. You'll have to do something for me first. Bitch, why you photo bombing my shit? Get the hell out of here! <laughs> Yo, give me a timestamp for that, for what she's doing. Can I get that, please? Yo, that's hilarious. It's a deal. So what do you want? I want protection. Look, the state of New York has evidence that can bring down my whole operation. But if they go to trial, 
a lot of powerful men will have their dirty laundry aired in public. Men who would rather see me dead than on the witness stand. All right. What kind of evidence? Books, records, basically a list of every Tom, Dick, and Harry I've done business with, including some men in Washington. The books are being held in a safe at the Federal Building. Get them back for me. Then I'll help you out. But a word, I can do that. Daddy -o. Do I, I have to, to go to this? All right. Oh, this is double. Man, they out there playing James Brown. I'm, I'm definitely going to get. I'm get hit with that. That ew from YouTube from that music they was playing. her vehicle like that I realized we didn't do any of those police favor missions at all either but I don't even know that we need how you doing Barbie you keep stepping on my foot man is there a way for us to go around the back and do this can we cut the power and stuff or do we just need to go in there with the guns blazing we might we might need to go in there with the guns blazing as hell my black brother if the soviets beat us to the moon it would be horrible just horrible what you know what you're talking about all right um, how are we going to do this guys i don't want to watch this walk through the front door i do i do how about this we can have my guys here maybe stealth that kill. cat's a goner if we do it my way okay are we gonna do it though, Cap? So we got two stealth kills. Is that the guy? Shit! Over here! Let's go! Take him down! What? You can stop Everything! This. Oh! Damn! Look at all these people! Fucking ass! Boy, damn! Oh my god! Bitch, get out of here! Get your telling ass Close by. Yo, this is not. I don't think this went as planned, yo. I, we just wanted to come in here and crack a safe. Where's the safe? Safe's in here? Let me take Crack it. Crack it. Crack it. Crack it. Make it fast. We don't have a whole lot of time. Come on, gentlemen. Let's go. Don't even. Die. Boy, I just got shot all in my neck. Yo, crack the safe! What are you doing? Shit, it hurts like a new tattoo. Come on, just kill a thousand cops. Boy, you gotta be better than that. Right, we got it. We got Gun! Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in! Well, peace out, bro. Wow. Shit, man. God damn. I don't know if we're going to make it, man. I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't know if we're going to make it. What up? Damn, how the hell? Look like we got three stars too. Come on, make it fast. I didn't even really need to do that. I could have just went through the other door. Get inside. I might need them to hold me down. I can't even see nothing. I'm back, hoes! Please tell me you've done something about those records. The state's got nothing on you, Rosa. Or your clients. You're all safe now. Good, then let's get down to brass tacks. I already started making arrangements with Tom. We have the room and we have the girl. If Geary ever shows up here, 
we'll be ready for him. Wait, you talked to Tom? When? Just now. He's here. He wanted to see the girl we'll set up with the Senator. It wasn't easy knowing what will happen. But her time has come. She's an addict, bad for business. Maybe it's better this way. Let's jump in! Oh my bad, no, 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 don't jump her. I ain't mean to punch the bitch. Where's Tom at? The cops ain't gonna come into the safe house with that, with that mess over there. Tom, it sounds like everything's all set. Almost. The only thing left now is to convince Senator Geary to pay a visit. He'll have to do it of his own accord. If Geary feels coerced into coming, he might see it as a setup. I know. That's why you have to be careful how you talk to him. I've arranged a meeting for you. The Senator thinks you want to talk about purchasing a company and that you need his help. Good. Now all I have to do is get Geary to take the bait. Best thing to do is to appeal to his vanity. Tell him you're having problems with the deal. Political problems, business problems, whatever seems to draw his attention. Geary's got connections. Make him think you're willing to deal if it'll get him on board. Now go, he's waiting for you. This isn't happening. Hey, cutie. Hey, Did you know I'll be meeting a senator later? You must be something special, babe. You jealous? It's not like he's my boyfriend or nothing. Bitch, you don't know. You a crackhead and you gonna die. That's what you don't know. Ain't nobody jealous of a crackhead, bitch. But them titties was on point, though. When we talk, when we talk about, like, crackhead titties, uh, she might be GOAT. She might have the GOAT crackhead titties, bruh. You see them things? have to blow anything else up to get inside of a building. It's totally unnecessary. You can't go through that door. It's probably on the other side. Yeah. Jeez, get the light. Sometimes this camera does some weird shit. You mean to tell Where's me we this world coming to? Can we? How do we get in? Fucking red. I hate these double shifts. Can you close out? Senator Geary, my name is Dominic. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. This is a nice place your man Hagen found for us. But let's cut the bullshit. What did you want to talk to me about? Business, Senator. I have an opportunity to purchase a foreign company, but there are a few partners who refuse to sell. You know them. You worked at the trust together. I was hoping you could help. So your money talks the talk, but it can't walk the walk, is that it? Let me guess. These guys looked into what you really do for a living. Didn't like what they saw. So why should I help you? Okay. Um... My portfolio was spotless, Senator. But I would never expect something for nothing. If you talk to these partners, help move the deal forward. I'll make sure you get a cut. Five percent. Five percent? Son, if you're asking for my help, you better understand that I intend to squeeze you. Twenty-five percent. Because I'll do business with you. But the fact is, I despise you. And your kind of people. Don't insult me, Senator. We're both part of the same hypocrisy, so never think you're above me. You know this deal is valuable to me, and it can be valuable to you, too. Are you gonna help me? Maybe. And I'll tell you why. Because if this deal's as valuable as you say, I'm gonna want to keep an eye on you. Because I don't think this is about some foreign company. What's really in it for you? Power, Senator. I need your help because other men want this deal as much as I do. Is that such a bad thing? To be more powerful than your rivals? And if we get rich in the process, so be it. Now we're getting somewhere. Say it ain't about business or politics. It's about showing up your rivals. At least now you're being honest. So this deal, does anyone else know about it? Just you, me, and Tom Hagen. I need to bring Tom in on this, but he can take from my share of the cut. 
but I want to move fast, so I need to know. Are you in or out? You know what? I don't have to like you, but I like your style. I'm in. I get my friends to help for a fee, but in deals like this, I usually expect there to be other benefits as well. Naturally. These partners have executive privileges at gentlemen's clubs all over America. If that's something that might interest you, I could make sure you get on the list, so to speak. Is that so? Yes. Well, indeed, I would like to be on that list. So to speak, of course. Well, Senator, as a token of my friendship, how would you like a complimentary stay at La Maison Rouge? In fact, feel free to visit any time you're in New York. You'll always be welcome. I like your style. Okay, Dominic, it's a deal. Thank you, Senator. I'll have Tom contact you with the details. You're all right. I'll see you around. Enjoy yourself, Senator. He's waking up. You should get over here. Thanks, Tom. I'm on my way. Tom. Come on, step away. I thought we could help you. Hagen, listen. I did not... I didn't do anything. I know. It's okay. You're very lucky I was called before anyone else. Nobody knows. Just a game. I'll fix it. How did it happen? I... I remember. She was laughing. I passed out. When I woke up, I was on the floor. <laughs> Senator, we're putting a call into your office. Explain that you'll be there tomorrow afternoon. You decided to spend the night at one of our hotels as a guest. Jesus! Pat, look at me. This girl has no family. Nobody knows that she worked here. It'll be as if she never existed. All that's left is our friendship. Stay here, Senator. Tom will send for someone to take you to the hotel. Dominic, I don't understand why I can't remember. That's good. The less you remember, the less you can talk about. But you can talk to me. Tell me, is there anything I should know? Anything that could help us both? Well, it, it may be nothing, but I chair the Committee on Organized Crime. I see papers and briefings. As far as we can tell, there's a new Cosa Nostra moving into Florida. Who? Who are they? The Mangano family, from Sicily. We thought they were going to set up shop in Cuba before the revolution. Now they've come here. I'm sorry, Dominic, that's all I know. <laughs> Stop being such a Melvin. Gary's pretty shaken up. Make sure he stays that way. I'll put a tail on him. Make sure he knows that he's being watched. Or protected, I suppose. It's a mess in there. I don't want any of the girls to see something. Nobody knows about this except us, the Senator and Rosa. Now, Rosa's gonna give her girls the night off, send them home. We can clean up then, take care of the body. We have the Senator. What now? Hopefully, he can throw his weight around, get his committee to dismiss the investigation. I'll look into it. As for you, you should get to Florida. See if Geary's right about the Manganos. <laughs> 